collection of fairy tales basically put together. Um, the fairy tales originated from the Grimm brothers um, and so those include you know Jack and the Beanstalk, Cinderella, Rapunzel, um, Little, Little Riding, Riding Hood. Hood. Yeah um, and that's all paired with that's all just their storylines are all completely intertwined with that of another family the baker and the baker's wife as well as the witch and a mysterious man and two princes and um, yeah um, it's it's, uh, it's an intermingling of all those storylines put together and woven so that they all um, have a specific purpose for venturing into the woods, um, title and name, <laughs> um, to, uh, to achieve something that they've been wishing for. I play the witch and she is a, definitely an evil character but she's a lot more human than she gets credit for because um, although she is wicked and has these powers that um, she like strikes people with and that kind of thing and like curses people with. She has a lot of love and she's very lonely, which is the reason why she is so evil and why she keeps her lovely Rapunzel up in a tower for Rapunzel's entire life. I play Rapunzel and she's like a really interesting character because even though she's a classic fairy tale princess that a lot of people know and love the story of, she has a huge downward spiral in this show. And yeah, it contributes to the whole message of like, there's no such thing as happily ever after. So I'm playing the narrator, which is super fun because I get to, you know, kind of oversee this entire story and move it along. And for this show, my character is not really the fun story storybook character that the that uh, previous shows have done and used the narrator for. It's a, it's a much more like I'm controlling what's happening and um, I'm changing the story, you know, a little bit like this, a little bit like that, just to make it the way I want it, which is a little bit darker and a little bit more twisted for the characters. I think um, a lot of the time, into the, I think Into the Woods is definitely, you know, put on a lot and it's definitely something that you know, most people are going to be familiar with, at least the title. Um, and I think we kind of wanted the challenge of making it different than all of those other performances. So a lot of the designs are inspired by like the director's use of like the words like raw and like organic. So we really tried to make things look as like natural but fairy tale as possible. Originally we started going off of designs from the Regency period which is a time in Europe where there are a lot of specific waistlines for females and males and tailored pants. And then we kind of also wanted to bring in an aspect of fantasy. So we took from different fairy tales, pieces of history, and kind of morphed them all together. And we also kind of strove to get away from your classic Disney look, just because the show isn't like classic Disney. It's a lot darker and it's a lot more, there's, a lot, there's just a lot more going on. So we, um, you know, we've kind of broke from that and gave the costumes like a darker feel to echo the theme. I think that also with this, um, there is, uh, especially with this show um, being such a very iconic show, um, that with very iconic uh, characters, especially from fairy tales that are very well known, we get to reintroduce um, the audience to these, to our versions of these characters. It's a wonderful way to look at something as familiar as fairy tales in a whole new light. Into the world.